What's going on guys? This is Matt and it is now time for System Test 25. Yes, we've made a lot of changes to the system. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it here. Uh, first off, you can see I uh, got a El Paso County CERT magnet on the panel. A lot has changed since the last system test. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, display here. You can see it's no longer Gentex, it says Wheelock. Yes, yeah, so we have changed back to Wheelock themed, but uh, this is going to be a different alarm than the Wheelock AS's. That's all I'll say. Also, another thing that we've changed is that we've actually added wire mold to the system. So everything looks a lot more neat. There's not this uh, sticky, weird looking uh, masking tape that covers the wires anymore. So uh, that's the nice part. Also, another big change is the camera I am using to record the system test. I got a new camera. This is the Sony HDR dash CX240. This camera is awesome. Uh, shoots high quality video and it's just it's awesome. So very happy to have this camera. So let's go ahead and go over the devices. So still over here by the panel uh, we still have my simplex dual action T-bar and going up we have the Wheelock RSS 1575 so if you're looking at it from the side, it's 15 candela. If you're looking at it directly, it's 75 candela. As you can see, we have all this uh, wire mold, which covers up the wires. Looks much nicer. Um, I'm going to save the horn strobes uh, for the last part. Kind of have it be a little bit of a surprise. Another change to the system is now all the pull stations are now on these back boxes. Uh, these proper back boxes instead of custom shims. So here we have my notifier BNG1TS with wire mold. Over here my fire or excuse me my notifier NBG10L with some wire mold. And over here we still have my simplex uh, 2098 9201 smoke detector. And uh, let's go on go upstairs. All right, here we are at the notifier enunciator with wire mold going down. Uh, I'm not going to show you the fire alarms quite yet. Got the uh, BG12L still here. Now on the proper back box. And then over here we still have my Edwards 278B1120 on the proper back box with wire mold going down. Out here in my garage, we still have my FCI MS2L, so this is the lockable version of the MS2. You need a key to actually set it off, or excuse me, to activate it. Again with wire mold, following it up, we have another Wheelock RSS. Uh, just like the last time I had the Wheelock system, we had the remote strobe out here because if I put a horn strobe out here, it's going to be way too loud. Alright guys, so uh, there's one thing I didn't tell you. Uh, back when the Gentech system was still up, I did make an expansion in the house. So once again, I turned on the uh, just the system to hear how well you could hear the alarms throughout the house. There was one area where there was a little... I mean, if the, water's, if the water was running in the bathroom, you could not hear it. So I made an expansion to the laundry room. So here I have my uh, simplex single action t-bar this is actually my first pole station and then above it is another notification appliance which is the last one on the system so uh, I've gone over everything uh, so I think it's time to make some noise here we'll go ahead and initiate right here
Yep, so that is the change to the system. The horn strobes are all Wheelock exceeders. So, yeah, and also you could see that uh, I've renamed the zones and I actually did some rewiring too. So, instead of the basement pole stations being connected to the garage pole station, I did some rewiring. So, now the uh, FCI, MS2L, and that uh, Simplex T bar are connected with the rest of the upstairs pole stations, aka the pole stations in my bedroom, which is now zone 2. So, when we reactivate right here, it'll give you a different indication. Yeah, so it makes uh, understanding where the alarm is coming from a lot easier. Uh, so, yeah. As you can see, we have audible silence throughout the whole house. Okay, let's go ahead and activate Zone 3, which are the basement smoke detectors. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, activate this system sensor I3, which is also not only a smoke detector, but a heat detector as well. Take a look at our alarms so far. So yeah. All right, let's go ahead and activate zone four, which is going to be my system sensor I3 in my bedroom. So where I'm standing right now is at about the middle of the house. The alarms are quite loud and you can still see the strobes pretty decent. So, let's go ahead and review our alarms. Pole station, upstairs poles, zone two. Pole station, basement poles, zone one. Two wire smoke, or excuse me, two wire detector, basement smoke slash heat, zone three. Two wire detector, bedroom smoke detector, zone four. All right. Let's go and take a look at audible silence throughout the house. There's the wheel lock RSS in the basement here. Here's the wheel lock exceeder over here. Here's the wheel lock exceeder over here. Here's the wheel lock exceeder outside my bedroom. Here's the wheel lock exceeder in my bedroom. Here's the wheel lock exceeder in the laundry room. And here's the wheel lock RSS out here in the garage. Let's go ahead and uh, turn off the basement lights, see what it looks like without any lights on.
Yeah, and do keep in mind everything is in sync thanks to Wheelock Sync. It's a lot cooler when it's nighttime to have audible silence, but this will do. Alright, so before we reset the system, of course, let's go and reset this dual action T bar. You can see the uh, model number is right there. That's actually the addressable module that's not in use because I don't have an addressable system. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and reset the system. So thank you very much for watching New System Test 25. Uh, yeah, it's quite the change. I never have heard Wheelock Exceeders go off before. Uh, they definitely are very unique and they are very loud as well. Uh, I mean, every single one of them is on low volume, yet they are still super loud. And I love the way they sound. They kind of sound like the uh, Spectre Alert classics in a way. So I like, I really do like the way they sound. And also they travel through the house, the sound, so you could be in any room of the house with anything going on, as in water, kitchen appliances, whatever, and you'll still be able to hear it. So, yeah. Want well, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more videos, fire alarm related, storms related, sirens related, trains related, everything. We got a bunch of stuff coming. So, until the next time, take care.